Hey folks, I'm just doing a quick video to demonstrate the Pro Tools Ultimate feature Trim Fader. Sadly, this is not available in the regular Pro Tools software, but there you go. Okay, let's get started. So I've got this track with uh, three audio tracks in, drums, bass, and piano. And now if I solo the piano, and let's put this into volume automation mode. I'm going to pull down this second chord by about 6 dB and let's copy it to the fourth as well. A quick listen. And if I go into the mixer, you can see the fader going up and down with the volume automation. Now, if I pop this into trim mode, you'll see the fader goes this kind of yellow gold color. And what happens is that the fader sits there statically at zero dB, but the volume automation goes on in the background. So it's still going up and down, but we can offset the level without having to go into it and edit the volume automation. So let's have a quick listen. And then let's pull this down by five dB. Let's do the opposite and raise it by about two or three dB. So if I go back to the automation lane, let's make this a bit bigger. You can see that we've got a yellow line here, which indicates where the trim fader level is at, which changes as you move it. And the blue line is where the offset automation is. What I find this particularly useful for is if you say you've got like a lead vocal and you've got lots of different automation uh, volume changes going on and you just want to offset the whole vocal throughout the whole track, throw it into trim mode and then just offset it by however much you want and there you go. And it's also quite good as a marker as well. So let's say if a, a client or if I want to turn up um, in agreement with a client, maybe like the snare drum, I can put a fader even if it's got no automation on it into trim fader mode push it up by 2 db and then i've got a reference if i want to go back to where it was before so pretty cool all right thanks very much all the best laters